We strongly advocate to have migrants, refugees, internally displaced people fully included in the vaccination plans, irrespective of their legal status. Because, as the Secretary General of the United Nations has said very clearly, no one is safe until everybody is safe. So, the reasoning for the interest of the host communities is also to guarantee that the migrants, irrespective of their legal status, have access to national vaccination plans. Not a special treatment, it's to follow the criteria that are used for nationals being applied to non-nationals. It's an equal treatment, but in this equal treatment everybody should be included. That's why WHO and IOM supports the claim for universal health coverage. And we know that is a difficulty there, because sometimes migrants, especially the ones who are in an irregular situation, are reluctant to have recourse to the national health system, because they are afraid of being detained or deported. The key issue is to guarantee trust and mutual confidence with those migrants, and to guarantee them that there will be no law enforcement implications for having access to the health care, and especially to the vaccination process.